eight year old boy is hit by a car right in front of his home. What happened is a cautionary tale for parents and drivers as the weather gets warmer and kids head outside. News 8's Neka Nuosu is live in the newsroom now with more details. Neka? Aaron, the driver in this case was not speeding, and the boy looked both ways before crossing the street. But the family and neighbors tell us that cars regularly speed down that road, and they want something done before another more serious accident. I flipped over the car, and um, I was just on the ground, and I got up. Curtis Winters was playing football in front of his Waterbury home Wednesday. The ball landed across the street, so he checked the road and crossed to get it. When Curtis turned around to go back, he was hit. I was devastated. I didn't know if my son was dead or alive. The family says the driver was not speeding and seemed very upset about the accident. If it was somebody that was going faster, like they usually do on this road, I wouldn't have my son here today. Cars cruising above the speed limit is a concern of other parents here on Monto Road. We could be going to the mailbox and they'll just be speeding right by. They don't care. They just keep driving and driving and don't pay anybody any attention. The speed limit on this road is 25 miles per hour, but using this radar, we clocked cars going much faster than that. Some got up to 40 miles per hour, though most we found drove within the speed limit. Still, the Winters family says fast driving is a problem they have tried to fix. I just want speed control. Um, for the last three to five years, we've asked, you know, like I said, there's an increased amount of kids in the neighborhood. My, my son was one of the statistics that did get hit by a car. Curtis was in the hospital for just a few hours, bruised on the elbow and shoulder. Today, he limps a bit, still feeling the pain of the accident. And if a football goes out of bounds again, Curtis won't be crossing the street to get it. Are you scared? Yeah, I'm scared of the road now. Waterbury police were unavailable for comment today. They say an accident report should be available sometime next week. Live in the newsroom, Neka Nwosu, News 8.